quite might be need, both need charging I think um, I think I can see somebody coming way back still but here we've got over there as Wells the city of Wells beautiful views of the levels here absolutely beautiful countryside we live in and soon we'll be coming to a style with walk on you crazy diamond written on it which I've um, like I said I've done all this before basically I've done these videos in the past but never on this day the day England qualified for the final of the Euros championship 2024 it was last night actually on the 10th they uh, qualified they beat the Netherlands they were very lucky really but I must admit the goal at the end was spectacular but it was provided by a Chelsea player Palmer he provided that assist and um, they didn't mention him much and I think they're always, they don't even bring him on much which is so strange he reminds me of Crouch he's got long gangly legs like, like Stephen Crouch but he will attack he will have a go he does have a go he doesn't pass back if he can help it he moves forward he's a really good player anyway folks just thought I'd mention that a bit on this gorgeous day following our victory in the semi-finals look at it look at it I feel so lucky to be able to do this and I've missed this walk not that I do it that often I don't It would get done twice if I want to do it in reverse, you see. Do it one way and then another time I come back and do it a different route. Right, hold on, let me just put that camera on there a minute. While I get over. Um, maybe I should get over the other way. Oh, it'll be right. I don't know if I can take a picture of me here. I don't know. I've done one before here. Yee right, what we're going to do is uh, just turn you off a minute. Just have a look around everyone. No, there's cows I know up there, I saw them earlier. So far nothing down there, so we're okay at the moment. Beautiful wildflowers, look. Right, I've got to do battery changes. Right then, look at these beautiful wildflowers. Thistles and sort of yellow wild daisies, or whatever you call them. Gorgeous, aren't they? God, look at this land though, folks. This is Somerset. It's all Somerset. <sighs> Wells down there. You can't see the cathedral, I don't think. Not today, anyway. That could be Somerset. No, that's um, that's not. No, Wells is over there, but you can't see it from here. That's Wookie there. Wells will be over there. I can just about see one church there as you go into Wells. Yeah. Brent Knoll right through there. Gap over there is Brent Knoll. The two people I saw earlier, one with a bright orange jacket, they cut across that field and they they're right, they've gone now. They they were I saw them go right over there. Okay, yeah. It's a gorgeous day, I feel so blessed. I really do. 
this time last year I was I booked three camping days over at Cheddar because there was no bus for me. It was a very expensive well it, end, it ended up just two days because it went the weather went crazily mad with gale force winds and rain. It was really bad the weather. And um so I only camped for two days, it was uncomfortable. Now of course, because I can get about differently. I, um, I've got an airbed and a pump to blow it up. So I won't have to sleep on that awful hard type airbed thing I had. Quite one very good. Self-inflatable thing. It cost me quite a bit of money, but it was useless. All right, it took the edge off a bit, but it was really, really, you felt like you were lying on the floor still. I got another roll mat as well to put under the airbed. If once, if I'm comfortable at night, I'm warm, because I did notice even in July last year it was nippy. I had to wear most of my clothes in bed. I think I took um, the, a light sleeping bag, so from now on, just take the the main one. You can always unzip it. No. We just don't get that sort of heat in this country, do we? Yeah, those two blokes either came across this field here or the next one. these views everyone. Look at the beauty, the peace, the lively breeze. All change tomorrow with buckets of rain coming again. I have been relying on the weather and I have picked the right days even though it, I've been nippy sometimes and it's far too blowy really for narration. But I haven't got touch wood. I haven't got soap to the skin. I reckon they got out at the next one then. No warning of bull. Maybe they're not doing. Oh, they've got electric fence up as well. Electric fence, look. And it used to have um, warning of bull. You used to have to negotiate the bull in here. I think the cows are just as, if not more dangerous, I think. Do you? Yeah. It's not the bug. It's just as bad as the bull, to be quite honest. Right, off again, turning off again for a minute. Right then, we're carrying on. This is Ever Gorge, a national nature reserve. Which we've done quite a few times over the years. But never on this day. Never on this year. <sighs> if you go down, you know you've got to come up. Eh? Yeah. I know. Right, so Sheila, 11th of July, 2024, on a sunny day. We haven't really had summer as such. Okay, it's been warmer, but we've had a lot of grey, a lot of, a lot of fierce winds, and some parts of the country, lots and lots of rain. They put it down to global warming. There must be something going wrong because just a couple of years ago, you could guarantee that there would be at least a good week here and there of hot sun, sunny weather. We just don't seem to get it. You get one day here, one day there. 
you have to carry your umbrella with you everywhere and waterproofs just in case so if the bags are heavier than usual then you still have to carry all your water because it can get hot <laughs> the reason I might not come back this way is because I have to climb all the way up here with the other route I don't only a little bit of climbing but I still got to remember how I did it that's the thing. And there could still be cows in another area. Hmm. Well, it's quite, well, it's a cool area here, so it would be muddier here. I haven't climbed up the gorge bit for a long time, and I'm not going to do it today either. Uh, when I do it, I'll be in the, I've got to be in the right frame of mood to do it. Um, but I have done it in the past, and that's also videoed, saved and recorded. With my videos, quite a few do get shared to YouTube, and I'm starting to share stuff to my tree as well via web links. And there's still a lot not shared anywhere yet. Still on the discs. There's a lot of stuff. Um, and I decide, sometimes I think, oh, I'll get that one ready and edit and do all that another time. Sometimes they don't get done for a while. You know? So, right, we we'll just put that on there while we climb off of over this wibbly wobbly style look very wibbly wobbly isn't it wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly because i don't think we can undo that we'll climb over do you want to break anything no sure do you no i don't it's a bit like a seesaw this way Wait a minute, grab the camera, put it on there. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, camera, it was a soft landing. Yeah, it's still okay. It's amazing, these Sonys, you know, they, they take such a battering. But that wasn't very good. You'd have to undo the rope otherwise. Right, I'm turning off until we get to the edge. Right, that's the viewing area, but I couldn't talk to a video, but I've videoed it in the past. Um, 
but I'm just trying to get a picture of uh, Glastonbury Tor from that hop there. But we'll get some better images of the tour when we get on the other side. Yeah, we've, there's a rapid growth due to the lots of wet weather we've had. And the brambles and all that has just gone crazy. And the ferns, if you go up on the hills, ferns are looking lush, haven't they? So what we're doing now, we're going down, we've been to the viewing area, and we're going down these steps. It's better going down than up, I can assure you. <sighs> Mind you, going down, you use different muscles and it can make your legs ache. <sighs> There's another way down that you go across some fields that I've done before. But I'm not going that way today. Believe it or not, no, I'm not going that way. I just do a little bit of uh, this um, going down bit so that people are aware of the terrain. I'm various terrain I'm having to negotiate. We've got two young ladies back there doing a bit of pruning because it's going to go mad when it rains tomorrow. Look at it. It's like a, a not a monster, but you know, it's, it's, it's going crazy sort of thing. This tree's lending me a hand getting down. You can tell men built the steps because they're so deep. A lot of us women have only got little legs. Oh, see, it's going like that. My hip doesn't like that on my knee. That'll tell me off later. Does it hate steps? Yeah, I hate steps. My knee does. I might not have any trouble with it until I've got to do steps. Right, I'm going to turn off for a while. 